abiotic and biotic factors. An ecosystem contains living and non-living things. The ecosystem has many examples of the interaction between the living and the non-living. Living things in an ecosystem are called biotic factors. Living things include plants, animals, bacteria, fungi, and more. The non-living parts of the ecosystem are called abiotic factors. Some non-living things are sun, temperature, water, atmospheric gases, and soil. One example of the interaction between abiotic and biotic factors is with plants. Plants use sunlight, water, and CO2 to make food. Without these things, plants would not be able to grow. Another example is the interaction between turtles and soil. Some turtles are known to bury themselves in the soil. When the temperature becomes too hot, turtles seek protection in the cool underground. Elephants and water interact as well. In order to stay hydrated, elephants drink water. In fact, all biotic factors need water to survive. Fish and temperature also show the interaction between the living and the non-living. A fish's body temperature matches its surroundings. Warm, tropical waters keep the fish's body operating at an optimal temperature. Another example is fox in the snow. When the temperature drops and the snow starts to fall, some foxes grow a white fur coat. The thick coat insulates and keeps the fox warm. Also, the color matches its surroundings, an adaptation known as camouflage. Lastly, bacteria and soil interact. Bacteria are decomposers. Decomposers get energy by recycling dead organisms back into the ground. Nutrients re-enter the soil, making the ground fertile. So take a look out your window and try and identify the interactions between abiotic and biotic factors. Abiotic and biotic factors.